If you've been around this channel for a while, you have some level of understanding of how much of a bag whore I really am. Let's do it. Now, typically I'm showcasing some kind of bag that costs like a lot of money, like a hundred plus. But not too long ago, I was perusing through Amazon and I happened to find a company called Webox and they make these amazing canvas bags. Truth be told, I was really just looking for a backpack that had a little bit of character to it. Uh, I ended up finding the backpack that I really liked and a messenger bag and a travel duffel bag. So let's take a look right now. So this is the Weebox travel duffel bag right here. Let me let you get a good look at it because the pictures, you know, pictures are good, but real life tells the real story. This is the gray one and it is like a slate gray and you see this leather right here. This is not some fake stuff. Well, it could be fake, but they did a good job of faking it because it looks good. Oh my God. And it feels like real leather. It is nice, man. You could put some conditioner on here and, and kind of just oil it up if you wanted to. Oh, that smell. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good, man. So I guess since this popped open, we'll go ahead and talk about this. So you get this leather flap over the pockets right here. You get two of them and they are magnetized and the magnets actually stick pretty well, but they do have buckles if you want to do it that way. Now, these two front pockets are massive. I did try to stuff these bags with some items so you can get an idea of what they can fit. But to be honest with you, I don't have that much stuff I would want to travel with. <laughs> so yeah, man, these pockets are massive. Let's go ahead and get into this one. Now, let's talk about zippers real quick so the zippers they are not ykk i don't believe but they do seem like a good quality they're actually not uh, sticking or anything they just move kind of smooth so just because they're not ykk that does not mean they are bad zippers they're just gliding through here but let me show you how my hand just just fits in this pocket look how huge that pocket is like my whole hand actually i can put both hands in there balled up just like this and i'm barely impacting the pocket so those front pockets are massive the stitching on the pocket where the magnetic clasp will go it's actually been done pretty well and if we turn over this flap you'll see here that the flap is actually very well constructed as well on both sides of the bag you do have a webbed handle here that's kind of just dressed up with some leather on the outside of it as you can see i haven't taken this anywhere yet it's still got the tag on it and there's your buckle for your um your shoulder strap and there's your swivel hook right there. And that looks to be of good construction too. All the stitching is done very well on all three of these bags I'm gonna show you today. And there's the company branding right there. Oh man, I'm sorry, I said Wee Box. It's actually Wow Box, there you go. So if the bag is facing away from you, on the left-hand side, you have a very, very large capacity pocket right here. Once again, the zippers are good on this side too. And it's a large capacity. Let me show you how this looks expanded. So you see there, I have a controller in here. So that's kind of making it pop out a little bit but you see the that's i don't know what is that two and a half inches worth of pocket right there as far as the the gusset and then it can poke out a little bit more so yes you can store a lot of stuff in this pocket probably two days worth of clothes if you want to but i just stuffed a controller in here and a tablet this is a 10 inch tablet and a small notebook that i've stuffed in the side of there if we come around to the top of the bag you'll see your main compartment here but let me show you this leather uh handle strap right here so it is constructed very well and yes mm, you can smell that leather man it's nice so let me get this open you got your leather pull tabs on the zippers which are super nice and as we open it up, there's some of my wife's hair embedded in my clothes. Like my wife's hair is like woven into all the fabric of my clothing. Anyways, I've got six shirts in here, which I try to represent maybe three or four days worth of clothes. But honestly, you could probably fit about five or six days worth of clothes in this bag and maybe two pair of shoes. And I'll show you in just a second where the shoes are going to go. So these are a bunch of thick shirts that I decided to put in here just to take up some space. And on the bottom, on the left hand side, I went ahead and put a toiletry kit. And right here, you'll see, you see all this, this fabric right here. This is the shoe pocket. <laughs> this is, <laughs> you can put, you can fill this thing up with shoes if you want to, but the shoe pocket is off to the other side right here. And I'll show you that in just a second, but I didn't need all that space because I only have one pair of shoes in here. Let's dig in this main compartment for a second. So you have a little uh, lanyard type of deal right here that actually unbuckles, I believe. Yes, you can actually put your keys or something on there that you don't want to lose or have to dig in your bag for. Then you have a very, very large inside pocket right here. I can stick my whole hand in there, as you can see, or eh, I guess about three quarters of my hand. This one is a little bit more narrow. This is about phone size. Where's my phone? So this one's about phone size. This is a Galaxy Note 10 Plus. It's a super large phone and you see it's sticking out about that much and I have that much room on the uh, sides of the pocket. So that's a good comparison for you there. And then on the back side of this, if the bag is facing away from you, you have 
a large capacity pocket right here. It doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the bag. It goes down about halfway toward the bottom of the bag. So let's close that up, zip this up, and then we'll move over to the outer shoe pocket. This is a very, very large capacity as well. And you would think having a shoe pocket in this bag is gonna take up a lot of needed room, but it really doesn't. The bag is designed very well. I do think the shoe pocket is oversized. It's like excess material that they've used, but it gives you plenty of room to put one pair of boots. In this bag, I have one pair of boots. Let me take one out. This is a boot. <laughs> and this is a boot. I had those boots in there with all that other stuff. And you saw, I still had a lot of room. So you could actually put a pair of boots in here. Oh, by the way, I'm a size 12. So I could put a size 12 boot in here and I could probably put a pair of uh, like tennis shoes or maybe some dress shoes in here too. And it still wouldn't impact the inside of the bag too much to where I couldn't pack maybe four or five days worth of clothes. So closing up the shoe pocket, we'll go to the very, very back compartment of the bag. So if the bag is facing away from you, you have this compartment on the side. This is like, if you're traveling, maybe you could put your passport or something in there, something that you need to get to really quick. And it goes down about halfway down the bag and it's a very wide pocket. So you could throw a phone in there or pretty much like some papers or something, travel itinerary, whatever you wanna do. Other than that, there's not much left to talk about as far as this bag goes. It does not have a structure. The bottom does have a, a more of a rigid feel to it, but it's not solid. You can see I can just ball this up. So if you need to store this somewhere, it will fold up nice and small and compact. But if you're packing it, some people just like a rigid bottom on a bag. This is not the bag for you. This bag has absolutely no structure, which is part of the reason why I liked it. It's a pro and a con. Next, we're gonna take a look at at the wow box messenger bag dude is this not the most handsome bag you've ever seen in your life or what this bag is nice man this it just caught my eye and i could not leave it in my amazon cart so let's start off with the strap first so one thing that i don't like is that the strap the shoulder strap is not detachable i don't know why i like detachable I usually use it, but it's just, I would like to detach it. It's not a big deal, but it's something that gets on my nerves with messenger bags. Anyways, it does have a leather and padded shoulder strap. And yes, that's that genuine leather, man. Look at it scratch. Oh man, that is nice. For the price that you're paying with these bags to get like real genuine leather, that is so amazing to me. Let's start on the outer pockets. Okay, so the outer pockets, they do have the buckle right here on the on this outside of the buckle, but you can also lift up and it's just this magnet holding it together right there as we lift up and get in there this is a very very rigid flap because it's genuine leather and this is a small pocket so in this pocket what do i have in here man <laughs> i was just stuffing stuff in the pocket you see how hard it is to get stuff out of here so this isn't more or less quick access type of stuff this is something that you need to store away and you don't mind taking just a couple more seconds to get into the pocket for so this is actually just like a phone tripod that i have in here and i do believe that's it yeah that's it now moving over to the opposite side of the bag you get an idea pocket and this is what I use mine for so here I got some gum because you know you need to be on a quick draw with that funky breath man so keep you some gum in this pocket and I keep my business cards here because when I have it and I'm out and about and I have it on my shoulder I can just kind of dig my two fingers in there and get my card out or some gum if I need it and I also think I got some chapstick in there too because when your lips are this big they can't afford for them to be ashy on the back side of this bag you get a full compartment that goes from one end to the other with a nice smooth zipper in that leather pull tab i don't have anything in this side but you could store a full like manila folder or whatever you got to put in here on this side of the bag so it's nice to have that close to your side as you carry in the bag now we get to the front of the bag the front of the bag is simply gorgeous fortunately but unfortunately these are not magnetic so nobody's going to be tearing open your flaps and getting in there without you knowing about it you literally have to unbuckle these and that was one of the things I just love and hate about the bag. And this is why I love it because it gives you that classic feel, man. You got that genuine leather strap and you gotta go in there and take your time and unbuckle it or buckle it when you're done. And I really do love that. But at the same time, sometimes I'm in a hurry and sometimes I just wanna snatch it open with a magnetic pull. But this is definitely the more safer option. Up here, we got quality stitching. And I'm telling you, everything about this bag is just done well. You see that? It's not some fake, faux leather strap they got on there. This is the real deal. So as we open it up, we have these uh, buckles right here. This is like jean buckles, like, you know, like jean jacket buckles. So what do I have in these pockets? Let's see. 
I got some stuff. Oh, yeah, my lotion. I got some lotion. I got my pick for my beard. You know, you got to keep that beard nice and... Yeah, just some other personal effects that I put in there. And on this side, I'm pretty sure... Yep, this is where I keep my DJI Osmo Mobile 3. So, yeah, you can fit the whole Osmo Mobile 3 in there because this is a massive pocket. Look at my hand and look at that bag. And look at the gusset. So, it's about, what is that, an inch? Just under an inch worth of... Uh, gusset right there and of course it can actually protrude out a little bit so you can see why this will fit and this is about all that will fit in this pocket because it's such a, a large item but yeah you can put a lot in this bag man now let's go back to the top of the bag and that's where i really start to have some issues but i'm willing to get over them because the bags are so cheap not cheaply made not cheap materials but the cost of these bags is so cheap for the price i paid for all three of these bags i'm showing you today i have literally paid for one bag before but it does come with its caveats. I don't know what these flaps are for. I guess like a pull tab so you can kind of pull the bag straight or something like that. But my problem with them is, is that the flap is actually more narrow than the bag itself. So these actually stick up and it would be nice if they were a little bit longer. That way you, they can kind of fold over into the flap like that but yeah i mean they do a little bit but it's not quite as much as i would like so sometimes when you close your bag this is just sticking up like that now it's happened to me before and it doesn't bother me when i'm on the move and stuff like that i'm just ocd about a lot of stuff and it bothers me so you just got to learn to deal with that so you can tuck them in if you want to or not that's up to you now the next thing that gets on my nerves about this particular bag is this super long zipper right here so we got one end of the zipper right here this is the you know this is it right here you got your zipper which is perfectly fine but after you get done unzipping this thing it just keeps going and they did it on purpose because they got a pull tab right here so you just hold that and then you just zip and unzip but what is all this extra zipper they got here i think it's unnecessary so when your bag is open it's just flopping all around i'm not really a fan of that and when it's closed it's easy to tuck it in but why should you have to i don't understand that anyways let's get inside of the bag and let me quit complaining right here i have a 15 inch laptop in the laptop sleeve and yeah it'll fit most laptops are pretty slim these days but this compartment is super wide i'll show you once i get the bag fully empty you can probably put a laptop in there like you can put a laptop and some books in the same compartment if you want to because the the compartment is so wide but this is a 15 inch laptop and you saw that it fit very comfortably let me put this in here one more time it actually comes up to pretty much the very top of the bag so I wouldn't go past 15 and a half inches or so if I were you. Next, in my case, I'm a videographer. So I put a big old camera insert in here just to you know show you how much space you can take up. So this is a camera insert. It's a big one. It's not a small camera insert. Hopefully you can see in there real good. We have two compartments right there and two pin slots. So these compartments right here, one of them I have some wires in and the other one I have a battery bank. So it's about the size of a big mobile phone or battery bank. And then on the other side of that, we have this pocket right here, how deep does that go? I would say about halfway down the bag and you can see how wide it is. It doesn't cover the whole bag. So you got that pocket right there for storage as well. Let's see what's on the opposite side. Uh, there's nothing. Okay, so here's another complaint. This pocket for your laptop, you see how wide that is? Let me see if I can get that open. It is just mega wide. So it's, I don't even wanna call it a pocket. It's a compartment, okay? So, but you do have this Velcro and stretchy strap that you can just lock your stuff in, but it's not gonna just fit your laptop. Your laptop will be swimming in here. So you can also put some books and other items in there and buckle them down with your laptop. With that being said, all of the innards of the bag, they are not stitched to the actual canvas. It's just kind of stitched at the top and you can actually pull this out like I'm doing like right here. So you can see all your stuff if you flip the bag inside out. I don't know if that's good or bad for some people it might get on your nerves. For me, uh, it doesn't matter either way, just as long as it stays put. But I just wanted to let you know that the inside of the bag is not stitched to the outer lining of the bag. Now on the bottom of the bag, it's not necessarily reinforced. It's the same type of material in there as that duffel bag. So it's a little bit more rigid than the actual fabric, but it's not like structured, I guess you would say. But on the corners, you do have this reinforcement, man. You got this these leather patches, man. It's almost like those sweaters or jackets with the leather patches on the elbows. So you got these leather patches right here, man, and genuine leather and 
yeah, this is gonna look real good after it's been like beat up and worn and stuff. Like this bag is gonna weather very, very well. So that's the Wowbox Messenger bag. Now, last but not least, we have what I went online looking for in the first place. It was this bag. I think this bag was like 35 bucks, man. It's just stupid. The quality of materials and style that you're getting out of these things uh, for the price. I mean, wow. Anyways, this is what I went looking for in the first place and I gotta show it to you. They do have a smaller version. I think the smaller version supports like a 13 to 15 inch laptop. And I actually ordered that one first and it was way too small. It actually looked like I was wearing my little brother's backpack. This one is the larger one. I'm five foot 10, 240 pounds. And this backpack looks good on my bag versus the other one, which looks like I stole some kid's backpack. So be mindful of that when you're ordering. So let's take a trip around the side of the bag. I wanted to stuff this as much as possible because I want to show you how much you can put in here. This is a little bit overboard, but I'm, I just want to give you an idea. So they do have this uh, large gusset pocket right here. It's about an inch right so you got that that's a huge capacity because it goes like the the depth of the bag and it's like half of the bag tall so that's a huge pocket but on the outside of that you see they got this mesh so you can still put a water bottle there and this is a typical uh, contigo super big water bottle that you could put in there let's put that off to the side so that will actually fit on the outside uh, and i actually have this pocket filled with something too i think it's that same game controller so this is a pretty big game controller and it was in this pocket so that just shows you how large it is if i stick my hand in there my whole hand goes in there i'm telling you it comes up to about right there that's how big that pocket is man so you should not have any excuses for packing your stuff you got plenty of room and you also have an identical pocket on the opposite side which we don't need to go into because i ain't putting nothing in there on the back side of the backpack there's really nothing fancy there's minimal padding here uh, it's not something super thick and the shoulder straps are very very standard nothing special going on here as far as suspension and the clasp or the the mounting mechanism for the straps on the bottom here it is right here so if you're a person who's really particular about the bag suspension on your shoulders this might not be the bag for you this is kind of a simple classic style of bag with simple uh hardware right here since we're on the back side of the bag i want to show you the zipper right here so a lot of people would assume that this was easy access to your laptop it is not it is just another compartment where you can put like a manila folder or some paperwork something slim that you don't mind being up against your back so it does go all the way to the bottom of the bag it starts right here at pretty much the top and it goes all the way down to the bottom and yeah it's just an empty compartment you cannot access your laptop now let's get to the front see that pocket right there you see that you could put a small child in this pocket right here <sighs> this bag has so much space it's just freaking huge where is that controller so this controller can slide into this pocket and i still have room for other stuff like my hand i can still fit my hand in there afterwards that that is so much storage space in this pocket. So the smaller version of this bag does have magnetic buckles. The larger version does not. And like I said before with the messenger bag, it's a pro and a con. This is that type of bag where you, you know, it's classic. You gotta like take your time and get in there. And then when you're done with it, you gotta take your time and buckle it up. But safety is paramount here because nobody's gonna be digging into your bag without you knowing about it because it takes a little bit of effort to get in this thing, okay? Once it's closed, it's closed. Up top, we have this leather contraption right here and it is for your drawstring. So let's just pull that out. And that way we can open up the bag and get up in there. As you can see at the top rear of the bag, you have this magnetic little button closure right here. It actually matches up to this one and you can close it magnetically there. And since I have so much stuff weighting this bag down, it's not gonna stay closed. But if you're packing pretty light, it'll probably stay closed. But that just tells you that you have three ways of closing this bag. You got this magnetic clasp right here, you got a drawstring, and you have the two buckles right here. So safety for your gear is paramount with this bag. Up top, we got a pocket right here that's good enough for a wallet, maybe a sunglass case, or a phone or something like that. It's, it's made out of the same material. Oh, I got business cards in there. So yeah, you can put your business cards in there too. And we get rid of that and fold it up. And that takes us to the laptop compartment. So once again, we have a massive laptop compartment. This has that Velcro, same Velcro as the messenger bag. This is the same 15 inch laptop. I did cut the video and put it in this bag. I don't have a bunch of 15 inch laptop sitting around here. Now, although this bag looks like it has some structure, it does not. I went ahead and put my camera insert in here just to kind of make the bag sit up. So yes, you can use this as a camera bag too if you got an insert 
because I fit the exact same camera insert in here and it fits very, very well in there. So now the bag has absolutely no structure. Once again, this is that huge camera insert. You can just stuff that in there if you want to. That way you can carry your camera gear and then you can put like a change of clothes on top or something like that if you're a photographer or something. On the inside front of this bag, we have a very large capacity pocket. This is the same tablet and notebook I pulled out of the travel duffel bag from earlier. So here's the notebook. You can see how big that is. And here is the tablet. So that will actually fit in this pocket right here. And you have a Velcro closure provided your tablet doesn't stick up as far as mine did. On that same pocket, we have a zippered pocket, which is, yep, it goes down about halfway. Got some more poison in there for you. And then we have two, pockets for like a phone or maybe some business cards or a battery charger or something like that. And let me see if I can just kind of pull this out so you can get a feel of how big this is. So yeah, it's that big. I don't know if that helps you out or not. But then you're left with the inside compartment, like the main compartment of the bag, which is super huge because you saw I just had a camera insert in there and I still had a lot of room to grow. So that's it for the Wowbox bag collection. The only thing I didn't get was the toiletry bag. I was thinking about getting that because I'm one of those guys that says, you know what, when you buy something and it comes in a set, you might as well get the whole set because by the time you want the next part of the set, they're probably not gonna sell it anymore. Either way, I hope this video helped you out if you were checking out these bags, cause they're really awesome. I mean, top quality, the, the canvas is nice, the stitching is nice, real leather, and it's just quality at a super duper cheap price, man. I'm telling you, I, I can't remember the prices exactly. The links are in the description. Um, but I'm pretty sure I paid less than like 130 bucks for all three of these bags. It's just a really great deal for three bags. I've paid about that much for one bag before. Anyways, I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff, but I am a bag whore. And if you had a good time hanging out with me, checking out these bags, man, make sure you dig in those links and follow me on my other two channels. Follow me on social media and uh, throw those emoji hands up in the comment section and I'll see y'all at the next one.